What's up everybody, it's Marfo from Marfo's Tech Help, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade from 4.1 to iOS 4.0, 4.0.1, .1, or 4.0.2. Let's get started. First, I want you guys to download, I want you guys to download your iOS, whichever one you want, 4.0, 4.0.1, or 4.0.2. Download that and save that. Do not I'm going to show you guys what I mean by save. When you hit download, if you're on Windows, do hit save. I'm going to do that. Uh, do not hit open. Because I learned that the hard way. Alright, after you download that, I also want you guys to download a, a program called Recboot. This is for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Just download. This is for Windows, like I said. Uh, and then just click the downloads thing. And hit save also. And I'll show you guys for Mac, it's the same exact thing. Just hit download. Alright. Now, now that's out of the way. All these websites will be in the link in the description below. I also have this, which is an iOS uh, 4.1 downgrade uh, web page. This basically does step by step of what I'm going to show you guys. First off, if you guys did not have an SHSH blob saved from Cydia, Basically, you're screwed. You can't do it. I'm sorry. This video is only if you saved your blob. Um, I'm sorry, I said blob. Blobs from um, Cydia, which is the Make My Life Easier button, which I'll show you guys real quick right now. Using VNC Viewer. Alright, let me unlock my phone and go into Cydia. I'm going to pause the video while this loads and I'm going to show you guys it. I'll continue when it loads up. Alright guys, we're back. Um, as you can see right here, I'm on Cydia. I finally loaded. Um, basically right here, it says SHSH iOS 4.0, 4.0.1, and 4.1. Basically, that's what I did. I already hit make my life easier. It would be on Cydia. If you remember clicking it and you actually did it, hooray. You can do this. If you didn't, mm, sorry, you're stuck. But that's just what it looks like when you when it has been confirmed. Alright. That's all for that. Um, and I'll show you guys. Oh, well, I'll just show you guys in iTunes. Alright, I'm going to exit out of VNC. Okay. After you downloaded all that stuff, uh... Go to go to the start menu. Go to computer. Go to local disk C. Go to Windows. Go down all the way to System 32. Go down to Drivers. ETC. And here you are. When you get to this screen, there should be all this. It should say Host. Click on double click on Host. And click Notepad. In Notepad this should pop up um, if it doesn't look like this it should be exactly the same scroll all the way over or down whichever and it'll be local host and that that's that will be the end of it this right here 74.208.10.249 space gs dot apple dot com basically that's what I did I had to type that in so it confuses iTunes into restoring to your SHSH blob um, that's why you can you can do any from any uh, iOS 4.0 and up uh, so, you know 4.0 and 4.0.2 uh, so yeah so after you do that exit out hit save for you for us Vista and uh, 7 users if you do that, you won't be able to because a warning sign will come up or like an error saying, I'm sorry, you don't have permission to that. If that happens, keep open hosts or keep hosts like that. Open the pad, but right click notepad and hit run as an administrator. Hit yes. Basically, come in here. Click on notepad again. This is host. Take it all. Right click copy paste exit out and then hit save when you hit save save as hosts right there 
and then you hit save. It'll say, are you sure you want to do this? It already exists. Hit yes. I'm going to hit no because I've already done it. After that, you're ready to go. Open up iTunes. Connect your iPhone or iDevice, I should say. Give it a couple seconds. There's my iPhone, my iPhone 3G. This works on. Uh, let me go up because this this again is step by step of what I'm telling you to, what to do. This works on iPhone 4, iPhone iPhone 3GS, and iPhone 3G. All right. Well, that sums it up. Hit Shift Restore or. Uh, I think it's control restore if you're on Mac so hit shift restore and then click the iOS 4.0 4.0.1 or 4.0.2 the one downloaded uh, whichever you want it to click it uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like there it is 4.0.1 just click it, hit open, and it, it'll start to restore. I'm not going to do it because I'm already on 4.0.1. Uh, after after it'll you know it'll download and do the software and everything. Your phone, or I'm just going to say your iDevice. Your iDevice will uh, as if it's restoring. It'll act as if it's restoring. Um, it'll go all the way up. You'll have the Apple logo, blah blah. blah. But towards the end, you're going to get an error message. It should be error, I think it's 1015, I'm not sure. It, if any error comes up, that's why we downloaded RecBoot. Keep open iTunes. Go to wherever you downloaded RecBoot. Right there. Right click on it. Hit extract here. Already extracted. Hit rec boot, double click that bottom one, you can exit that, and right here, you just basically hit, make sure it's plugged in, and hit exit recovery mode. The only reason why we're exiting, uh, we're doing it this way is because you'll get their message because it realizes, you know, I'm not, I shouldn't be restoring. That's basically what your iDevice is saying. One, but uh, iOS 4.0 or whatever you downloaded is already the software's already downloaded on there. It's saved already. So that'll happen. And um and then so it'll send the air message. And so basically all you gotta do is get out of DFU mode or recovery mode. Uh get out of it and then let your uh iDevice reboot. And there you go. You're on the new IO or you're on iOS four point oh and up. So good luck with that. I I recommend doing using jailbreak me it's so much faster um and it's very easy uh, i'll probably make a video later on on how to use jailbreak me but all right guys the marfa from marfa's tech help if you have any questions leave a comment below please subscribe and um good luck jailbreaking i'm out